This is a really, really exciting time for us at People in Espanol and a really exciting time for Latina women. At 57 million strong, with over a trillion dollars in buying power, this is a very important community, not just to people in Espanol, but to all of you. I am Lorraine Colte Vasquez, born and raised in New York. I'm the first uh, Puerto Rican, Latina, Latino, anything statewide official in the state of New York. Wow. Um, but that's a great honor um, because I come from a woman who cleaned toilets and a man who peeled potatoes. But if you are a Latina at work, your experience is completely different. And every day you are on an emotional roller coaster that leaves you wondering, where do I fit in? And someone said, what do we do to make you a little less chica chica on air? And I said, I don't know what chica chica means. <laughs> well, you're so beautiful and you've got this hair and it's so great, but maybe tone down the colors you wear. We are perceived, judged by our appearance. What happened to being perceived and judged by our character? For every dollar that man makes, for every 78 cents a non-Hispanic white woman makes, for every 65 cents an African-American woman makes, you only make 54 cents. People think and feel that having an accent is, makes you less, less than. Me dicen, por ejemplo, oh, tú no naciste en este país. Wow, no tienes acento. Hablas muy bien y muy educada. Why can't I carry my culture in my veins and my ambitions, my academia, my all of those things in, in my heart and be one person? You know, this is not the, the, the topic of the year. This is the topic of the next 10 years. So with that, if you're a brand, if you're a company, reflect on what's happening. Right? You have to respond to what's happening and you have to really recognize that this is happening.